Hey Power Seekers, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Stray Hydroboard, and this is the space where we dive deep into the pursuit of power and personal growth. Now I know the idea of power might sound unusual in today's context, but let me break it down. For me, power isn't just about muscles or wealth, it's about mastering the game of life. It's the ability to do, create, and achieve. Imagine building a pirate ship in a month. That takes not just resources, but leadership, strategy, and influence. Now I'm not here to boast, I've simply eliminated two things from my life, fear and desire. I operate on clear-headed thinking, ambition, and determination. Think of characters like Azula from Avatar, Lucy, or even Elle from Death Note. Driven, clear thinking, and somewhat psychopathic in their pursuit. Why am I sharing all of this on social media? Because right now, defeating the algorithm is the most powerful thing I can do. It's my strategy, just like the mechanical contraptions I've been. Speaking of which, that's where my skills lie, and that's why you'll see a lot of build content around here. So buckle up, because on this channel, we're not just building contraptions, we're building power. If you're intrigued by ambition, clarity, and the pursuit of something more, you're in the right place. Now let's dive in to today's quest for power. Alright. 8.30 instead of 7.30. I went to bed. I want to say I probably fell asleep around 10. And then, like, obviously woke up three or four times. Kept kind of, like, waking up and go back to sleep. Which is kind of normal. Um, but I was trying to get a lot of sleep because yesterday I didn't get very much sleep. And I could, I could really feel it. And, um, because I was staying up late, I was over at Pyro's. But, sleep is something I can really feel these days. And, um, so I was like, I'm walking around and I'm like, oh gosh. I, like, I'm walking around at work, I'm like, I feel like I'm not about to fall asleep at work. You know, so it's like, can't have that. Um get some sleep dude so I tried to get some sleep honestly it's 8 30 and I, I 10 11 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 wait 10 11 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 that's 10 that's 10 hours right 10 hours and 30 minutes so I probably slept around 10 hours let's say and it's like whoa Jaden you slept around 10 hours you must be like really awake right now and like well rested no I still woke up to the alarm I didn't wake up and be like oh I'm wide awake and I have plenty of sleep no I got like 10 hours of sleep and I'm like <laughs> more I need more um dude you don't understand like whenever I don't have a job or whatever like I sleep for like 12 hours a day, 15 hours a day, something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's just because I'm young or something. I don't think it's that. But definitely, like, I know that I sleep quite a lot. And this whole getting, like, 8 hours of sleep a day. I know. Some people are probably like, whoa, you get 8 hours of sleep a day? That's crazy. I only get 2 there's a bird on the top of my car right now. Um, anyways. But, yeah. I I know. I, I, I know that I'm not getting enough sleep. And so I was like, okay. Today, I want to try to get sleep. So. Woke up super late. And tried to go to sleep super early. You know, normally I go, try to go to sleep around 10, honestly. But I end up going to sleep around like 11 or 12. And I wake up around 7. 7.30. So, anyways, that's kind of a whole... That was my mission last night. Was to get a decent amount of sleep. And honestly, I still feel like I need more sleep. I still, like, I woke up. To the alarm clock. I didn't wake up on my own. And to me that's a sign that 
I didn't get enough sleep. So, we'll see. But, anyways, gotta do stuff today. Whether we like it or not, we must continue. I'll probably start trying to change my sleep schedule too. Try to get more sleep as time goes on. But anyways, whatever. I gotta go. Wish me luck. Just gonna go to work. Gonna think about... I actually had some ideas for the shorts. I might try to, if I have enough time, to try to film a couple shorts. And then I'll post them on lunch break today. But that's pretty much it, guys. Um, rinse and repeat of just going to work and posting shorts. Alright. See you later. Alright guys, so the end of another day. Had a live stream that was pretty chill. I ate some cans of soup and some mixed fruits. And it was like $10 for that. <laughs> so, still pretty expensive. I gotta work on the food stuff. I've been letting it slide for the time being, but honestly, it's a huge, it's the biggest expense that I have right now is food. So to get the most bang out of my buck, I need to be buying higher quality, cheaper food. Not junk food that's expensive. I need to be buying food that hopefully is more nutritious and for less money. <laughs> more profit right but i think it's possible i think spending 30 dollars a day on food is kind of ridiculous i think it should be possible to lower that price it's a little bit hard because i can't just like refrigerate stuff and cook stuff um but i've been focusing on trying to figure that out we had a pretty good live stream today somebody tried to steal a shopping cart and put it in their vehicle and it wouldn't fit so they just left it in the middle of the parking lot and now it's just now it's just there. It's, it's next to that. Next to the uh, like white truck with a glowing headlight, whatever. Um, so that was kind of interesting. And um, oh, today also marks my uh, one month anniversary of working at Walmart. So it's been one month, and the tally of how much money I have in my pocket right now I need to count it all but it's it's basically around 200 200 which is pathetic one month and now I have $200 I was supposed to have a thousand dollars saved up by now but I only have 200 so what the heck um, obviously that's because I spent a lot of money putting a shop into my vehicle I spent a lot of money working on my vehicle I spent a lot of money on a bed, on supplies, cleaning supplies for my car, band-aids, um, storage containers, um, of course food as well that is very expensive that I probably could have bought cheaper, um, just all that kind of stuff. Um, going to urgent care, lost 200 bucks doing that. You know, um, so hopefully next month we can bring around a thousand dollars because we cannot let uh, our profit margin be two hundred dollars a month. And I'm kind of letting it slide because this month was building up and kickstarting us living out of a vehicle, but now there's kind of no reason for there to be an excuse of having that little of a profit margin each month so i want to see a thousand dollars in my bank account by the end of next month basically so to do that actionable steps i'm going to take is try to reduce the amount of food costs that i have and also just i'm going to be kind of penny penny pinching um i don't need to buy any new tools I, I don't really need, you know, I don't really need anything. I might need new tires soon. That could be a, a, a huge factor. I might need dental work done. That could be a huge factor or some other third thing. But 
I should I really shouldn't have anything that I need honestly I'm good I got tools my my tires are good for hopefully another month my tooth will probably be good for another month let's say so I don't see any reason why I'm, I shouldn't have around a thousand dollars pocketed this month but hey who knows we we're just gonna keep working on social media and trying to make that pop off and honestly if that pops off I don't care if I make a thousand dollars a month or not because social media is gonna take over if social media actually pops off I won't need a job at Walmart anymore let's just say that but if it doesn't then I hope I get a, a decent amount of lump sum from uh, working so that I can try to find something productive uh, and really realistically the thing I'm most skilled at is social media and building mechanical contraptions for social media so if it doesn't work I'm pretty much probably going to come back to it because it is the biggest skill set that I have and it would be stupid of me not to try to leverage that so don't think that I'm gonna be like giving up on social media or building mechanical contraptions for social media anytime soon um, unless some crazy opportunity falls out of the sky like the ability to start a business or something like that comes up anyways I gotta edit this video and then go to sleep and then I gotta film a bunch of shorts tomorrow morning come up with a bunch of shorts ideas throughout the work day um, you know I'm, I'm gonna have to I'm planning out my whole day my whole week I I don't want to give you guys the whole rundown of what my next what my five-year plan is tonight but let's just say that I gotta go to sleep now so I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and I hope you guys are enjoying the story and I'll talk to you guys next time bye